I'm in Microsoft Windows 11 and I'm going to show you how to allow a port through. So if you have an application that uses a specific port, you can go ahead and open up that port to allow users in. So I'll click on the start button here and click on settings. And when settings comes up, I'm going to click on update and security. On the left hand side, I'm going to choose Windows security. And now I'm going to click on firewall and network protection. Next, I'll go to Advanced Settings. And this will open up a box that looked similar in Windows 10. And we see Inbound and Outbound Rules. So I'll click on Inbound Rules and choose to create a new rule by clicking on New Rule. And here's where we have the option to do a program, a port, or a predefined type of rule, or even a custom rule. In this case, I said I was going to do a port rule, so I'll go ahead and do that. And here I have the option for TCP or UDP. If I choose all local ports, that's not really a secure way of doing things. So I'm going to choose specific ports. And just for fun, I'm just going to type in 5000 and click Next. It's just a random number, but you'll know which application port you'll need to add by doing a quick search of the vendor. Next, we'll see Allow the Connection. We can also choose to allow the connection only if it's secure, and that means that it's got to be encrypted using, say, IPsec, say, using a VPN type of connection. In most cases, that's not what you're going to choose. Or you could say, you know what, I don't want to allow this connection. I want to block the connection. I'm going to choose to allow it. Click Next. Now I have three different types of networks that I can choose to set this firewall rule up. Now my computer is a member of a domain, which is why you see domain as an option, but you may not see that if that's not the case. But I can choose all three of those because I don't care which type of network it's going to be. I want it to be allowed. And I'm just going to call this one port 5000, but you'll probably have a different name for yours. And I'll click finish. And take a look at automatically puts that at the top of the list. So that way it's a little bit easier to find. So that is how we open a port to allow traffic through in our Windows 11 computer.